Welcome to our channel Bitron Health and Technology. In this video, capsule endoscopy system is explained. Capsule endoscopy is a non-invasive technology to provide diagnostic imaging of the small bowel. This technology was approved by the FDA in 2001. But previously, before capsule endoscopy technology the small bowel was an obscure region requiring invasive procedure for diagnosis and treatment. In wireless capsule endoscopy, the capsule is consumed by the patient. As the endoscopy capsule passes through the digestive tract, the camera integrated into the capsule capture images of the inside the digestive tract. An antenna integrated into the capsule transmit all the images captured wirelessly to the outside body sensor network and a recorder. Capsule endoscopy helps doctors see inside small intestine an area that can't be accessed with conventional endoscopy procedure. After 8 hours, wireless endoscopy capsule exits patient's body, the images are downloaded to a computer from the recorder and inspected by doctors through dedicated software. In this process approximately 55,000 images per examination are produced and clinicians need about 2-3 to three hours to examine the entire footage carefully to detect the abnormalities. Doctor might recommend a capsule endoscopy procedure to find the cause of gastrointestinal bleeding. Capsule endoscopy can reveal areas of inflammation in the small intestine such as Crohn's disease. Capsule endoscopy can show tumors in the small intestine or other parts of the digestive tract. To examine esophagus. People who have inherited syndromes that can cause polyps in the small intestine might occasionally undergo capsule endoscopy. Capsule endoscopy is a safe procedure as the endoscopy capsule naturally come out of the body. But, it possible for a capsule to become lodged in your digestive tract rather than leaving your body in a bowel movement within several days. The risk, which is small, might be higher in people who have a condition such as a tumor, Crohn's disease, or previous surgery in the area that causes a narrowing of the digestive tract. If you are at risk of a narrowing of your intestine, your doctor likely will have you get a CT scan to look for a narrowing before using capsule endoscopy. If the CT scan does not show narrowing, there's still a small chance that the capsule could get stuck. If it is stuck it can be removed either by surgery or through a traditional endoscopy procedure. Thanks for watching. Please keep watching for more such videos.